didn't come off the ice. He stayed on there. And Dan Daou probably registered one of the hardest body checks he's ever had in his whole career. He put the shoulder right into Fedosov. Fedosov went to turn to his left. And maybe with his arms up a little bit, Dan Daou just ran Fedosov right into the boards. And you can see Fedosov getting up. Brendan Shanahan to John McLean. Sets it alone and Freddie scores! 3-1 Devils. John McLean pitches for the puck and gets it. Driver shot, they score! Tipped in front of the net. Olchik avoided Venice up both for the net. Great save by John McLean. They score on the rebound. Leave it. Power against power. Now the two big lines. McLean shot, he scores! They are again. McLean shot was blocked by LaForest. And LaForest puts his blocking glove in the face of Patrick Sundstrom and knocks him to the ice. Fedesov to Mark Johnson. Oh. Brad Mark doing the fourth technique, trying to get his team fired up. He's certainly got the fans going. Lou Francis oh. getting it. Oh! He ran into Randy Belichick, and there'll be a penalty on the play. It'll be against Lou Francis Getty, and now he wants to try and take Belichick with him. with Daou. I am afraid he came in to bail him out. Wendell Clark has picked Yanni Oyanin. Mealy might have been able to, might have been trying to square things for him. He hits the Daou in his throat. Is that Wendell? Clark LaForest, the lead goalie, is coming all the way down the ice to get it out of now because Sean Burke is in it. Trying to get it marked meantime at the 
the penalty box. Terry Gregson has waited for Burke and LaForest to get tired out. In the meantime, back at the penalty box. That's Dow and Danico. Bailey is absolutely livid. I mean, he crawled right over top of the two linesmen. He wanted that Marsh badly. Marsh gave him a number of good solid punches when he had him down on the ice. Terry Gregson has meantime had to leave LaForest and Burke alone down by the empty net, but I think they're tired, too tired to do too much damage to each other. You know, they're probably saying to each other, isn't this absolutely ridiculous? What are we doing fighting each other? We're both goaltenders, starting goaltenders. Everyone else is up at the penalty box area. And here we dance with no linesmen to break it up. They've got Mealy off the ice and Marsh off the ice. Belichick's in the penalty box now, by Danico, and these two won't quit. Uh-oh. I can never remember witnessing two goaltenders go at it like this. I've seen them get together in the midst of a brawl and hold each other, but I've never seen anything like these two. And they might as well get their last licks in because that'll be it for John and Mark. to do. He's got a few things to figure out. He's got to decide Tuesday, November 7th at the Royal York Hotel. Who the main combatants were. Who will go from this game. So we'll give everybody a chance to cool out. And the other thing that I'm sure he's a little worried about is the players who have been on the bench watching all this coming out on the ice and evening any other scores they might have in this one. No, it's an excellent move by Gregson. But we're going to go back and show you exactly how it all started. And it was a very innocent and clean check. Nice clean check. Just Osborne laying that shoulder right into Mark Johnson. But a hit that every devil player could feel on the bench. And I think the Leaf players could feel it as well. And here comes the penalty. Francis Getty on Belichick. Well, Leaf and Lou Francis Getty has the abilities to get things going. Now, once he dumped the puck in, watch. He just lunged right at Belichick, and he was going to get a penalty for that. But from that point onwards, you knew it was just all going to break out, and it did exactly that. LaForest saw Burke was kind of tussling, and then he wanted to meet Burke right at the blue line, and on they went. Goon goalies here. Now, who wins the fight? <laughs> well, I think Burke is definitely the winner of the fight. Burke is with a shot. He scores. <laughs> Peter Sundstrom dumped the puck to the end board. Well, I think that was just more for a warning than anything else. Wendell Clark. With a little stick right into the devil player, and as a result, put him nicely on his butt. Luke Richardson knocked down by Brendan Shanahan. Sunstrom after the puck, pumped hard by Rob Ramage. Just kept on side to Olchik from Lee, and he turned and banned as he tried to shoot. Wendell Clark tried to send it to Osborne. He was checked by Starikov. Clark took a punch at Benesov. The Soviets did a fight for the first time. And not faring very well. Well, Benesov said jokingly last week that he was going to take his 
club, though, one of these nights. That was his jam. Maybe he's seen videotapes of how Wendell Clark fights. He didn't seem ready for that at all. And Wendell Clark gets a double minor. Fedesev wasn't sure why he's in the penalty box, and I don't think he's sure what's happened to him here. Well, you can see the initial punch that Wendell Clark took on Fedesov, and that's why he got the additional two. And I'm sure that Fedesov has seen fight tapes of the National Hockey League over in the Soviet Union, and as a result, just kept those gloves on. But Francis Getty and Hannon, Ramage and Richardson, the penalty killers in the front. Lou Francis Getty has another hit at center. That was Ramage on McLean. Mark Osborne breaking for the net. to center. Mullen tipped up by Ramage. Abilene with the puck. Starikai blasts one. Blocked by Fester and he's bowled over by two players. Muller and Ramage on top of Fester and he was crushed under the pile. And Muller's come up swinging against Richardson. And Fester's shaken and that means trouble. Gerard Gauthier that went down underneath Kurt Muller. Now Ramage pulls McLean to the ice at center after the whistle had gone. That was Shanahan that came in on Ramage and tackled him from behind. to get McLean right out of the game right away. But they, he didn't have a chance. They tangled at center ice. The whistle went. It was after the whistle that Ramage threw McLean to the ice, and then Shanahan came barreling in and tackled Ramage from behind. And Lou Francis Getty was riding Patrick Sundstrom. These poor linesmen, they've just about had enough tonight. That's Jerry Payton with his arms full of Brendan Shanahan. Shanahan takes his two goals and two assists on the night to the Jersey dressing room. 5-4 New Jersey. This latest altercation has come at five minutes and 59 seconds of the third period. New Jersey penalty to number Where are they going to put them all now? Two minutes for roughing. Number 11, Brendan Shanahan. Two minutes for roughing and a game misconduct. There are five Leafs in and around there. This guy with the Clark on his back, that's not Wendell nor a Leaf because it's a road uniform. It's the only way you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Wendell Clark just a little while ago was down in the stands, and he was talking to a couple of the fans who were as surprised as probably Wendell was that he, in fact, would have an opportunity to talk to the fans <laughs> during the course of tonight's hockey game. Dumped in by Toronto, the Devils built a big lead, but hung on in the end, and have registered a 5-4 win over the Toronto Maple Leafs in an unusual game at Maple Leaf Gardens.